At exactly 14.43.08 Tuesday morning solar time, an enormous explosion occurred in Pluto vicinity. It was quickly pinpointed to Charon, Pluto's moon. Transtemporal, the Titan-based corporation, is known to have a large research center on Charon, but there has been no communication with the facility since the explosion. This is men to leave to U-35661 approaching. You've got the Lodestar and Iron Dog Bodine. I've been rolling in the outer for two weeks, so I would appreciate it. Lodestar, your ejector's too flat. You'll have to burn off two VUs or risk relaunch. Sorry, but I don't have enough deuterium to muss up a dandelion. Is that you, Ward? Stand by, Lodestar. U-35661, I've been authorized to land you. Maintain attitude. You're now at zero, zero and passing the outer mark. You'll be fine, Tully. About 65 gigs. Yes, I know. Drop the frame at 56 Central, pick up our pay, and cradle her in the rank. Let's see if we can scare up something semi-illegal to hold back. Right, Tully. We ought to be burning out of here in about four hours. T4 to B6 Central. Mark, how's Tully? We haven't seen the load star around here in three years. Tully's been saying the next haul will be his last. Yeah, that'll be the day. That's Tully Bodine. Where you been, Tully? I tell you. Hey, hey, long time. Long, long time. I don't know. Right back, Baxter. What'll it be? Tully. Oh, <laughs> nails. <laughs> Tully. William Head O'Bannon. Good to see you, Iron Dog. What brings you to the backside of Alcatraz? Big money. What else? Know any? If I did, I wouldn't tell you, you bastard. <laughs> well, yeah. If you're buying, red line. Neat. Hey, did you hear about Andy Opal? The fuser? Well, as far as we could tell, Andy's bus was on Karen, unloading cargo, and Trans Temporal had that big blowout. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. Bodine. Tully Bodine? Yeah, could be. My name is William Snid. I represent Carl Slagan. Here's my card. I was wondering if we could have a moment together. Tully Bodine! I can't believe that you had the guts to haul that flying violation into my jurisdiction. Well, man's got to make a living, Francis. My God, it's good to see you two. I see all that graft and corruption has gone to your gut. <laughs> <laughs> Check everyone's certification. And check for forgeries on the legits. Voting, you've got exactly eight hours to pay your landing fine and get out of Mendeley. Or I will impound that dump rail of yours. And I'm never torn to pieces looking for stolen parts. Ah, uh, now venture nozzles, Francis. All I'm looking for is one last big haul, and you will never see me again. I'm quitting the rolling line. I know, you can't be serious. Well, what a shame. Because, you know, I was just about to give you, I mean, I was going to give all of you people some real competition. This is my nephew, Byrne. He's a graduate of the Ronald Reagan Military Academy. He's just had a three-year course at U-Rail. And he's a certified outroller as of today. Congratulations. It's a great life. Francis, he's going to need a decade or two in the outer before anybody here is going to call him an outer away. Well, I don't have that kind of time, Grandpa. That's enough, Vern. I guess you don't see much of Molly Matlock anymore. Molly and I are going into the hotel business on Colony Mars. Well, come to think of it, uh, Molly always did sort of have low standards. Yeah, real low. Hey. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Forget it. You got just two hours. Get off my moon. 
Tully, get back to the outer where you belong. Burn! What was that all about? We were in the ranges together a long time ago. Wampa was my NCO. We used to date the same girl. Mm. William Snid. Interplanetary dry goods. Look at this. Meet me at Bay 2844 South. Cargo waiting. Huh? The frame loaders are empty. I'm short on time. I thought you had cargo. Uh, don't worry about a thing, Mr. Bodine. I do have a frame. And I've been authorized to offer you full tanks and 52,000 gigs for a one-way haul to Phobos. <laughs> no questions asked, right? What are we carrying? There'll be a manifest as usual. Mr. Schlegen will pay in full once you deliver the cargo to Phobos Depot. Well, you'll have to pay my landing fee. Ah, everything will be taken care of, Mr. Bodine. All right, you got a trucker. Where's your friend? If you're not there to get the cargo in the next 16 minutes, it might not be there at all, right? Isn't that your jump truck down there now? Well, let's get one thing straight. Lone Star is no jump truck. She's a vintage Nova UD2 with four Rolls-Royce RH-12 thrust tunnels. I mounted them myself. Mort, we've got 11 minutes to get to Bay 247 West. I've queried ahead to Bay 247 West and have the manifest. Would you like to see it, Tully? Yes, I would, Mort. 20? 20 live camels. Camel caravans are the most efficient way to move cargo across the rough Martian terrain. Huh. We're approaching the West Quadrant now. Turn in here, Tully. I should alert you, we've only got nine minutes to get to Bay 247. The traffic is always heavy this time of day. Okay, Mort. Heads up. System check. Use your right and left arrow keys to steer the Lodestar. The heading indicator points to your destination. Use it as a guide to steer the lodestar in the correct direction. To minimize damage, activate your shield. Turn your shield on and off with the up arrow on your keyboard. Sound your horn to clear the rail by pressing the right mouse button or down arrow of your keyboard. Aim with your mouse. Fire with the left mouse button. Good luck. For further operation instructions, refer to the manual. In order to get to the cargo bay, you have to head towards the observatory. Use your heading indicator if you can't see the observatory. Tully, we're being tracked by robotic police. Displaying image now. Action in the head. I must issue you.
You must comply. You are exceeding. Leaving South Quadrant. It's coming right for us! Track work ahead. I must give you a ticket. You've always hated me, haven't you, Tully? Refrain from speaking. Blow your horn! <laughs> It's coming right for us! Work ahead. Cargo bays ahead. Transmitting 
Obey the speed. There's a truck up ahead, Tully. <laughs> There's a truck up ahead, Tully! <laughs> There's an accident ahead.
you are authorized for entry to Bay 247 West. Reduce speed and proceed to Station 3. U3566, I have 8 frames of cargo on hold for you in Bay Central. 8 tons of scrap metal, 21 platters of dry goods, and 3 frames of livestock. Camels, to be specific. Camels. I'm gonna get rid of the smell. Lodestar, your frame loaders are secure. Proceed to door 25 for exit clearance. Pilot of U3561. You've got five minutes to suit up and exit the dorsal lock with your hands above your helmet. You're under arrest, Tully! I can't believe my luck! Snit and you, you set me up! Oh no! No, you brought this on yourself! We've been watching this bay for 12 days. You are hauling stolen government property. <laughs> Those camels! We're taken from a government lab. You've got three minutes before we send in a cyber probe. Mort, all senses on. Sorry, Francis, I got a hot date on Mars. Tully, let's do lunch next time. This is key. Come on, come on, Tully. Don't do this. Maintain clearance. Oh, keep Lone Lone Star is accelerating. Collision Regroup. Is Mort, heads up. Buy me some fuel and fast. Bodino, buddy, give it up. I'll be merciful. Welcome to Mendeleev City. Let's <laughs> go. 
bum suckers! <laughs> Turn right, Tully, there's a maintenance bay over there! If you turn left, you'll find a maintenance bay! There's the maintenance bay straight ahead, Tully! Tully, after these repairs, should I have somebody clean the windshield? Hang a left up ahead. What do you know? We're actually going in the right direction. Yard fifty kilometers. <laughs>
trying to stop us. The police yard motor pool. Tully, the gates will be locked. Yeah, I know. I do not have the code. I know, I know. Don't you think we should slow down? Open SSP. Channel 1. Open, Tully. Surrender, Dorothy. How did you know the code? That's the same all over the solar system. Monitoring all the comm channels. You're right, Tully. There's no one here. All right, Mort. Fill her up. Full up, Tully. Let's go. Of our generators. That will give us enough voltage to depolarize the trackway for 200 feet ahead. And a rolling arc big enough to fry any sap or scorpion blocking the way. Mort, you are a humble servant to my superior human programmers. That'll be the day. Here comes the gate. Heads up. Let's go. 
Living East Quadrant. Nobody double crosses me, Bodine. I get even no matter what it takes. The use of force. Trails 100 kilometers.
them. I must warn you though, we only have 45 seconds left in the launch window. Turn right up ahead. We've received minor damage to the outer hull. We'll need some repairs at Phobo Station. Acknowledging DC-606 passenger transport P-5543 carrying 68,000 tons of mass. Well, you got the mass right, Ward, but this is U-3566. Shut up, Tully. I'm trying to get you out of here. Alive. You're authorized for immediate rail departure. Four, three, two, one, engage. Thanks, Ward. Ward, tranquilize those camels and hold on to your mainframe. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Utani SSAPL Solar System Automated Policeman, equipped with a railgun and an anti-riot vapor cannon, is universally called a SAP. SAPs fly about and hover utilizing three vectored hypergolic thrusters. They usually conduct surveillance and can offer advice as well as lawful commands. The Utani 505L Tactical Police Cruiser or Toaster is a manned and armed spacecraft. T cruisers require onboard piloting and weapons management by a crew of two. They maneuver utilizing a single Denudin IC-27 fusion rocket engine, mounted centrally and vectored for hover and ballistic free flight. The SA-10 Scorpion is an automated, highly armored military spacecraft deployed by the System Guard. It is powered by six Basile J-605 fusion engines and is heavily armed. It carries four complete weapon systems, including 80 caliber railguns, thermal lasers, and venom missiles with ordnance morphing. The Axe is an experimental automated and armed drone with four mini fusion engines and a stereo pair of Goyal 88 caliber railguns. The Axe is a very impressive civilian and military enforcer. An onboard miniaturized Shiba 7000 optical processor give the Axe complete autonomy to act on its own. Sometimes faulty judgment. Henrik, we have to get a look inside that volcano. She'll destroy us all if we don't stop her. Give it up! 
Fenric, you'll never make it out of here alive! Ha 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 